Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel, the best place for microblading entrepreneurs and beauty entrepreneurs. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you all about how you can start your own microblading business with under $10,000. When I started Babyface Brows, I had less than $10,000 to start my business with, and I'm gonna break down all of the different costs that I had when launching the business, and I'm also gonna share with you all the tools that I started the business with, as well as some of the links and resources that I got these things at. The number one thing, obviously, we start out with is finding a shop. Now, you have a couple of options here. You can look for an existing studio that is renting out chairs, or you can find your own studio to work out of, or depending on the laws in your state or country, you might even be able to use sections of your home to run your studio out of. Personally, the option that I went with was finding my own shop. What I really recommend for beginners especially, find a turnkey rental. And what that means is basically finding a space that does not need any renovation or construction and that you can immediately move into and start working out of. And the reason why is because when you're just starting out, you really want to be scrappy and work with what you have. And if you guys want to learn more about the different skills necessary to be a successful microblading artist, go ahead and watch this video right here. I'm gonna plug it in. I talk all about how you can be resourceful when it comes to starting your own business. Personally, for me, when I found my rental, luckily it was a turnkey. We did need some minor facelifting. For example, I had to install a sink. I also put in floor panels and then also put up a wallpaper. So as you can see, these things can be done really quickly. I actually finished painting the walls as well and doing everything that I mentioned in under two weeks with the help of my family and my friends as well. So I highly recommend that you guys do a bit of research. There are a lot of different places you can look to find your first space. And I remember I was looking on Craigslist, on Facebook Marketplace, in newspapers, and also just walking around different neighborhoods and checking out the different for rent signs and then hitting up the realtors and making appointments to check out these spaces. Keep doing your research until you find the perfect rental spot. For my rental space, with the security deposit and the rent included, my upfront cost was approximately $6,000. Obviously, this is gonna be different for everybody depending on the state that you're in and what your budget is. Start saving up now. If you have another job right now, then you know be patient with the hustle and just save up the money so that you have enough money to move into your own rental space and make microblading a full-time career. Now, the second thing you really want to focus on when starting your business is making sure you have insurance. Definitely do some research online. Personally, I use an insurance company called Marine Agency, and they have a very specific tattoo licensed insurance policy. To be honest, I'm not really sure of any alternatives out there. This was just a company that was recommended to me by my microblading trainer. When I first started, it was $1,000. I think the price will really vary also by location. So you can go ahead and reach out to Marine Agency and they will give you a quote for your annual price. So I definitely recommend you looking into it. The next really important step when setting up your business is making sure that you actually set up your business. Your business structure will really vary depending on your goals for your business. And I personally worked with my accountant to set this up and the fee for setting up my business was $450. The next thing that you need to have set up is your appointment scheduling system. I personally use something called Acuity, also known as Squarespace Scheduling now. And with Acuity, there's different tiers of pricing levels available to you. As a beginner, I really recommend to just start with the most basic pricing, which is about $15 a month. And with the annual pricing, it comes out to about $170. That is something that is definitely worth investing in. And if you guys wanna know why this is important and how you can set it up so that you can run your business smoothly, I'm gonna go ahead and put a video right here. I talk with you guys all about why you should set up an automated appointment system. The next thing I needed to get was my Glamcore lighting, which I love. It's been about two years now and it's still going strong. It's really good quality, really good lighting, and I highly recommend it. 
it is a bit on the pricier side. When I purchased it, it was $250. And now with their upgraded release, it's actually $265 on Amazon. But I really do recommend it. I think that lighting is such an important investment to make in your business. Now, the next thing I invested in is a massage table. I personally like to use the portable massage table, which you can find off Amazon for $100. And then you can also get a chair to go along with it. I got my stool off of eBay for about $45. One thing that my shop did not have when I first moved in was a sink. So that was something that I needed to install, but it was quick and I was able to find my sink and cabinet combination in Ikea. And that came out to a total of $250. Now, just to add some final touches in there and make the shop a bit more inviting, I decided to add floor panels and I got that from Home Depot for a total of $180. I also added some gold geometric wallpaper to one side of my wall and that was also $100. Just to summarize what our total costs were for starting my microblading business, we spent $6,000 for the rental space, $1,000 for the annual insurance policy, $450 for setting up the business, $170 for the appointment calendar system, $250 for the lighting kit, $100 for the bed, $45 for the stool, $250 for the sink and cabinet set, $100 for the wallpaper, $180 for the floor panels. So let me just do the math calculation real quick. It comes out to about $8,500. I know for some people this number can seem really grand, but $8,000 is definitely a lower number than I expected when I first started my business, I thought that I needed $30,000 or something to find a shop and to do construction and to renovate everything. But you guys, it can cost less than what you think if you're able to do your due diligence in researching and finding the right place. But more importantly, learning to just use what you have and start with the basic necessities instead of splurging so much upfront on unnecessary things like major renovations or major decorations and etc. Now, keep in mind that some of these expenses are optional. For example, the wallpaper and the floor panels are totally optional, especially if you're moving into a turnkey rental. So I would say if you want to save some money, then you have an opportunity to do so by skipping out on those expenses. You want to be resourceful and you don't want to dump a ton of money into this business when there are other areas that are more worth your investment right now. For example, you can still be saving up to try to take courses and become a better artist and improve your technique. And those skills are much more important to you right now than having a Pinterest worthy shop that doesn't necessarily need all of the money from you right now. It's more important that you set up the foundation and really put into your shop what you need to a, run your business legally, and B, also that when your clients come in, they can have a good customer experience. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you guys are starting your own microblading businesses, or if you're even just thinking about it, then go ahead and comment below and let me know in what state or country you guys are looking to start your own business from. I would love to know where you guys are from and where you guys are launching your businesses of your dreams. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that it has helped you in some way, shape, or form, and that it has given you some insight into starting your own microblading business as well. Oh, and if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. The handle is at babyfacebrows. All right, bye.